Today, I commit to dive into my deepest fears. In December of 2014, I did the most courageous thing I've ever done. I literally removed 80% of everything off my to-do list. And I focused on three things. Securing a book proposal, increasing my international speaking engagements, and losing 25 pounds. <laughs> to elevate to my highest faith. To elevate to my highest faith. To accomplish my greatest achievement. To accomplish my greatest achievement. Yay and amen. Yay and amen. If things on my to-do list didn't align with those three things, it came off. But here's the whole point of that. I sent the new book proposal to my agents in the beginning of January. They literally called me back instantly and said, oh my God, Sherry, this is it. You found your voice. A month later, we were meeting with multiple publishers who wanted to secure my book. You made what I would call that that editorial leap. You just, I mean, we were excited. Mm -hmm. We were, and to, after, to reading the number of times you read that proposal, to say, wow. And I remember sending you an email, a short little, like, we are, we are singing over here. Yeah, yes. And you wrote back and said, I'm crying. Right, right, <laughs> yes, that's right. In the doctor's office with my mom. I right, you were with alone. your mother, right. <laughs> So it was, it was worth it. It was a yeah, little tough, yeah, but yeah. it was also wonderful. You know, it was, it was a creative process, and it's not always easy, but it's worth it. When I literally removed the distractions, when I got focused, when I literally committed to being in the present moment, what was taking me seven years to get done, I was able to accomplish in eight weeks. The journey in writing Exponential Living, stop spending 100% of your time on 10% of who you are. The journey of writing that book honestly began about 15 years ago uh, when Raul Davis said, Sherry, you need to write a book. I mean, there are some, some things in you. And at the time, I had the tagline, stop spending. I had the nine principles, but I really didn't have the depth yet. And uh, so it's been a long journey. It took seven years to get my publishing deal with Penguin Random House. But during those seven years, I cultivated the message. I was able to really spend time with my clients, proving these principles. You know, the one thing I say all the time is this isn't research. I didn't sit with focus groups and ask questions. Exponential living and these nine principles are proven through life experiences, through working with high achievers and busy individuals just like you, just like me. I tell people all the time I'm my first and most important client. What I would say is unique about Exponential Living and Sherry Riley, it really is that I was able to watch her life as it developed and ask the question of what is Exponential Living to find out that it's exactly what she's doing. So there is no better person that I can think of to teach me about Exponential Living than the person who's living it. Uh, so when I first started the process, um, I put together an awful book proposal. I mean, it was awful. And it went out to my agents. And uh, one of my agents, Denise Marcel, called and said, please let me have, you know, over the Thanksgiving holiday, don't send it to anyone else. Let me read this over the holidays. And so she, tr true to her word, called back on Monday. And she said, look, this book proposal is awful, but I want to sign you. And I want to sign you for simply this one thing. Stop spending 100% of your time on 10% of who you are. She's like, that's so powerful. That is so powerful. And people need to know what that, how to do that. And as I was diving into that reality, the how, I've spent the last 15 years developing what I call the nine principles of exponential living. Because these nine principles have proven for me and for others that I've worked with to be the elixir. And I am fortunate enough to be the editor of Exponential Living. And Sherry has such a really strong idea and has such an expressive way of putting it forth that it really, really had an impact on me. And I'm trying to apply it to my own life. And right now I'm going on vacation with my wife who I promised I would not bring my laptop with me. So I am applying it in that regard. 
what happens, and I've found this consistent, the 25 years that I've been blessed to work with some of the biggest influencers and change agents in the world, athletes, entertainers, corporate executives, entrepreneurs, multimillionaires. I've had this opportunity to be intimate in their worlds, and what I've found consistently is money, fame, access will never buy us peace. Never. So what I realized is that this disconnect that we have comes from the reality that instead of pursuing titles and money, we need to pursue peace. We need to get clarity and we need to live courageously. My purpose is now more uh, clear to me um, and what I should be doing in my life and how I should be using the gifts that God has given me to share with others and also this program pushed me to get out of my comfort zone and kind of take my life to another level. As I, again, was living these things, as I was working through peace and I was trying to deal with my own personal courage and I knew that I wanted to serve and, and figuring out what that meant to me, and I began to answer these questions that were coming so frequently from my friends and colleagues, I began to really identify that there was some consistency in the journey. And so how the Exponential Living Program evolved into the nine principles, it started with one sentence, stop spending 100% of your time on 10% of who you are. I was talking to a friend of mine and she was really frustrated. And again, it was one of those conversations where she just kind of pulled me to the side and she was sharing with me all the things that she had accomplished. She had the job of her dreams and she was in the entertainment industry so she had access and she was just doing the things she loved and she asked me, Sherry, why am I so miserable and unhappy? And I, I knew her and so I asked her, I said, well when's the last time you sung in the choir? Because I knew she loved to do that and I asked her, you know, when's the last time you, you had your pet or a dog? Because I knew she loved that. And I just began to ask her these things. When's the last time you went dancing? And she couldn't remember any of those things. And I said to her, you know, well, you're spending 100% of your time on 10% of who you are. How do you think you're going to be happy? You know, Sherry just, you know, really kind of broke it down and, and taught me to go after my dreams. and but that to have action with my dreams. The three main things that people can expect to get from exponential living is how, the how to pursue peace, choose clarity, and live courageously. And over this 15 year journey, what I have found is everything comes back to those three simple things. See, every complex problem I have found has a very simple answer. And every problem that I've had over these last 15 years, every problem or challenge or issue that I've worked with my clients on, those are the three core things that we focused in on. What do we need to do to pursue peace? What do we need to do to choose clarity? Because it is a choice. I always tell my clients, you can't say I don't know, because we always know. We may not be ready to deal with it. We may not be ready to act on it. We may not be ready to accept it, but we always know. And when we pursue peace and when we choose clarity, that's when we get the courage. That's when we get the courage to make any decision, any change, any choices in our lives that are gonna make our lives better. How many of you have made the right decision, but it's cost you money, opportunity, and career advancement? You know, every month in O Magazine, that great, and wise philosopher, Oprah, <laughs> shares what she knows for sure. And what I know for sure is making the right decision, not based on money, has allowed me to have a successful career in the entertainment industry that is rooted in integrity. I've also learned that trusting God, it may not make immediate dollars, but it sure enough makes sense.